Hi, so good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture in Marine Automation number 2. So in this particular lecture, I am going to demonstrate how to wire a basic electro-pneumatic control system connected to a limit switch and a pilot lamp. Okay, so let's get started. So in this lecture, we will just continue our discussion and then we will just add the... Uh, the limit switch and then the pilot lamp in the previous circuit that we had. So if you have not watched the previous lecture, so just visit the link as shown above. Okay, but in this lecture, we are going to uh, rewire in order for us to develop mastery in wiring this type of uh, circuit. Okay, so what we have here is this diagram. So we have an additional limit switch here and then a pilot lamps. Okay, so same as what we did a while the, the previous lecture, we have to identify first the components that we will be using in our uh, in our circuit. Okay, so we have here the extent uh, the, the the this one is the source lamp. I don't know the the source, the power supply, the 24 volts power supply. So we have the 24 volts power supply, and then we have here the extend and then the retract push button. Take note in this particular case. Uh, these push buttons are normally open so we will be using this one the two green lamps are going to arbitrarily name it extend and then this one here is our retract okay so we have the extend and retract and then okay and then we also have the limit switch so the limit switch one and then the limit switch two so in the actual uh, in our actual trainer so the ls1 is uh, the limit switch are similarly like this one and then we have now to identify which of these two uh, limit switches are is the LS1 and the LS2. So as what we can see in this diagram here, the LS1 is much closer to the cylinder and then the LS2 is the farther switch. So we can say that this is the LS1 and then this uh, we have to put the LS1 here. LS1 and then this one here is the LS2 okay which is the farther switch okay so that's it so now let's try to wire this one wire this circuit in our uh, digitalized format uh, of electro pneumatic trainer okay so the first is same again we are going to use two ball pens the red and then the black so the red ball pen so for the 24 volts connected to the extent so the 24 volts okay connected to the extent okay and then next from the extent connected to the positive of your k1 so this is the positive of your k1 so from the extent connected to the positive of the k1 so we can oops Yeah, so that's the connected to the positive of our K1. Next is the negative of our K1 will be connected to the uh, zero terminal of our power supply. Okay, or the negative side of our power supply. Okay, so K1, the negative of K1 is connected to the negative of our power supply. Okay. Okay, the negative of our power supply. So next, oh. Okay, so I think we're done with the first rung. Now let's proceed to the second rung. So the using your red ball pen again from the retract connected to this one to our 24 volts okay so again you have two options here you can connect this neck this portion of the uh, retract push button 
directly to the 24 volts or you can also connect this one to the extend button which is direct also connected to the 24 volts but the more efficient way is you directly connect it to the to the extend uh, push button because it is you will only be using a smaller uh, shorter wire so in this particular case here no need to wire this one and then connect it to that supply you can just simply okay tap it there okay so let's put some circle there to indicate that that is uh, electrically connected so next is after the retract push button you are going to wire this one to k2 okay which is the positive of your uh, solenoid valve number two so going back the k2 is here so you can just simply tap that one oops Yeah, so that is the connected to the positive of our K2. So the positive of our K2. And then the last for that particular step, we are going to connect the negative to the, the negative of our solenoid bulb to the, uh, to the negative of our power supply. So we have two options again here. We can directly connect it to the negative this portion here directly connected here or you can just tap it to the negative of the k1 so we can tap the negative of the k1 so we can do this one okay and then again Yeah, so that's the negative of our uh, K1. So I think we're done with the second rung. Okay, and then now let's proceed to the third rung. So we have the limit switch here. The limit switch one, which is here, the LS1, is connected. One, uh, take note, guys, the switches have no polarity. So you can either choose uh, which of these two terminals are you going to connect to the positive uh, supply. So, in this particular case here, uh, the red wire, LS1, connected here to the 24 volts. So, I would suggest, uh, I would like to do it this way. Okay, and then connected to the positive of your, oops. to the positive okay and then the other side of your ls1 the other terminal of your ls1 is connected to a, a pilot lamp so i will arbitrarily select uh, name it as so this one is the uh, ls1 is the green this is the green and then this one here is the red for the uh, retract okay so, yan, LS1 to the green, the other terminal of the LS1 to the green, yan. Yan, so the other terminal to the green. Okay, and then the last for this particular rung is we have to connect this one to the negative. So, yan. To the negative, so we can directly tap this one, okay, and then, yeah, so this is for the negative, so that's for the, so that's for the uh, third rung, now let's proceed to the last rung, okay, so again, you're going to select your red ball pen, the LS1, uh, LS2 again, LS2, oops, okay, LS2 and then connected to the positive of your supply, so LS2 and then the positive 
So, how are we going to do it? Positive. So, we can do it this way. Okay, and then we can simply have a detour here. Okay. Okay, so that's the negative. So the last is, so uh, not the last, but second to the last, the LS2 is connected to the red, uh, ah, sorry, the LS2 is connected to the red. Okay, so the LS2 is connected to the red. Yeah, and then for the last wire, the negative side of your red lamp will be connected to the negative uh, terminal. So this one here is the negative. So how are we going? Yeah, we can simply do it this way. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay, and that to indicate that that is uh, connected electrically. Okay, so I think that's it. So in the next lecture, we are going to integrate a relay. And then why do we need to use relay in this uh, electro-pneumatic control system? Okay, so see you in the next lecture.